This is the story of Winnie the Pooh and the Blustery Day. You can read along with me in your book. You will know it is time to turn the page when you hear the chimes ring like this. Let's begin now. Winnie the Pooh, or Pooh as he is called by his friends, is a bear who lives in the Hundred Acre Wood. One very blustery day, Pooh decided to visit his thinking spot. As Pooh sat there, trying hard to think of something, up popped his friend Gopher. Say, Pooh, if I were you, I'd think about skiddaddling out of here. It's Wednesday, see? It is? said Pooh. Oh, then I think I shall wish everyone a happy Wednesday. And I will begin with my dear friend, Piglet. The wind was blowing very hard as Pooh neared Piglet's house. Uh, happy Wednesday, Piglet. I see your sweeping leaves. Yes, Pooh, but it's hard. This is a very unfriendly wind. Just then, a big gust of wind blew Piglet up into the air. <coughs> Pooh was surprised. Where are you going, Piglet? I don't know, said Piglet from overhead. Help me, P -p Pooh! But when Pooh grabbed Piglet's sweater, it began to unravel. There was Piglet flying high over the countryside like a kite, with Pooh dragging behind. The two went right through Eeyore's house and Rabbit's carrot patch. Then, with the blustiest, gustiest gust of all, Piglet and Pooh were blown right up to Owl's house in a tall tree. Pooh, Piglet, this is a special treat. I so rarely get visitors up here. <laughs> Do come in. Owl opened his window, and in blew Pooh and Piglet. The wind blew harder and harder until finally Owl's tree, along with his house, crashed to the ground. Everyone from the Hundred Acre Wood came to help Owl, but only gloomy old Eeyore seemed to know what to do. If you ask me, and nobody has, I say when a house looks like that, it's time to find another one. A thankless job but I'll find a new one for him. And off he plotted. Finally, a blustery day turned into a blustery night. And to Pooh, it was an uncomfortable night, full of uncomfortable noises. And one of the noises was a sound that he had never heard before. Pooh got up and went to his door to investigate. Hello, out there. Oh, I hope nobody answers. Just then, a funny-looking animal bounced into the room. Hey, hi, I'm Pigger. P.I. Double G er. Oh, you scared me, said Pooh. Well, sure I did. Everyone's scared of tiggers. Well, what's a tigger? Glad you brought that up, chum. Then Tigger bounced around the room to show Pooh what a tigger was. Tigger stopped bouncing. Did I say I was hungry? Not for honey, I hope, said Pooh sadly. Yuck! 
Tiggers don't like that icky, sticky stuff. Well, I'd better be bouncing along. TTFN. Ta-ta for now. <laughs> The wind continued to blow. There was a clap of thunder, and it began to rain. And it rained, and it rained, and it rained. By morning, the hundred-acre wood was flooding. Who couldn't rescue his honeypots? So he decided to eat all the honey for breakfast. He was upside down, licking the bottom of the last part, when the water floated him right out the door. At Piglet's house, the water was coming in through the window. He wrote a message and put it into a bottle. The message read... Help! P -p 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 Piglet! Me! The bottle floated out of his house and out of sight. Christopher Robin lived high on a hill where the water couldn't reach. So that was where everyone from the Hundred Acre Wood gathered. Before long, Christopher discovered Piglet's message and read it. Hmm. Owl, fly over to Piglet's house and tell him we'll plan a rescue. As Owl flew over the flood, he spotted two tiny objects below. One was Piglet, standing on a chair, and the other was Pooh, still upside down in his honey pot. Owl called down, A rescue is being thought of. Be brave, little Piglet. Piglet swallowed hard. Thank you, Owl, but it's awfully hard to be b -b 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 brave when you're such a sm -m -m small animal. Pooh and Piglet eventually floated right to the hill where their friends were. Christopher Robin smiled. Pooh, you rescued Piglet. That was a very brave thing to do. You're a hero. I am? said Pooh, happily. Yes, and so I shall give you a hero party. Hooray! Just as the hero party began, Eeyore arrived with a message. <clears throat> I found it. A house for Owl. If you want to follow me, I'll show it to you. Eeyore led the way through the woods and to everyone's great surprise, stopped in front of Piglet's house. This is Owl's new house. What do you think? Pooh said. But this house belongs to... No, Pooh, interrupted Piglet. This house belongs to our good friend Owl. I shall live... shall live... You shall live with me, Piglet announced Pooh. Christopher Robin smiled. That was a very grand thing to do, Piglet, giving your house to Owl. And so, the one hero party became a two hero party. Pooh was a hero for saving Piglet's life, and Piglet was a hero for giving Owl his grand home in the beech tree. <laughs> <laughs>